Hey, I'm going to replace this caliper uh, 2003 CRV Honda. Um, what's going on is the piston is locking, it's pushing out, and it's locking out. It's not re and, and, and it's overheating the brake right now. Uh, it's caught just in time. If you let it keep going, you, these will explode. Um, you feel a drag while you're driving at a red light. Just coming off a stop, you'll feel a drag. It's just something you need to notice. Um, I felt it, so this is coming off. And I'm going to do both sides. So I can, I can afford to do both sides, so I'm going to go ahead and do both sides. And that's how you should do it. You shouldn't just do one side. You should be replaced both sides. Uh, one's going a month later, the other one's going to go, and you're just going to be back in there. So if you can afford it, you know, you, you want to uh, get both. Okay? So here's, here's a spring. This is the pad spring. Uh, people call them shims. This is the pad retainer, the official name for it. Some people call these shims. This is really a spring. This goes in here, just like this. These little shims uh, rust out, they break, and so they need to be replaced every time you do pads. Uh, get those little, these guys on top, clips on top of the metal. Okay, make sure they're on top. They can slide down. So you want to be careful like that is. Okay, see that? So you want them on top. Do your best. Okay, now you, you, your pad retainers. Okay, shims. These go in like this. Just like this. This is going to rest on this pad inside here. And these feet are going to go inside these two uh, lands. Okay, so I'm going to slide them in. Okay, see how they, they go right underneath there, see that? Okay, same with the other side. Okay, those are in place. I'm going to lubricate them. Okay, this is a, uh, just from Permatex. This brake caliber lube, it's, just, it's high temperature. It's especially made just for uh, using on, on calipers. I lubed up this brush, this acid brush. And let's see if I can do this. Where the pads are going to ride. I'll show you on the pad. Okay. Same with this side. Get down in there. Okay, here's, this is a... Uh, you hear this little squeal. This is just a warning device that your pads are getting down. It's about 80% down when it starts to hit your uh, rotor. And it just makes a little squeal. And it's just a warning that your pads are getting down there before you start tearing apart your rotor. So you can save a few bucks if you do it right when you hear that sound. Okay. And I'm going to put these in uh, just like this. Okay. This metal part is going to go in first. Now I'm going to push down on the spring. There we go. All right. It's on there. Same with the other side. Start in the middle. Just like that. Nice and easy. No fighting it. Uh, this piston's all the way back. It's brand new. So th there'll be enough room for this to slide right over the rotor. I might have to tap it with a dead blow hammer, not hit it, and not with a hammer. Uh, just with the dead blow, give it small taps to get it to slide down on. Nice snug fit it will be. Okay. These bolts here, these are 17 foot pounds. Uh, the caliper mountain bolts, you, you're going to have at 28 foot pounds. I got that information from AutoZone. They're, they're nice enough to put that up on their website. Torque specs, uh, important, you should use them. And this banjo bolt, I got a new one. Okay, it comes with it uh, on, on a quality, 
half decent quality uh, caliper kit it's going to come with the new bolts and new seals okay that's uh, 17 foot pounds on that also and I'll take that out later I'll leave that plug in for now okay I just wanted this pad placement pad placement nice and simple no fighting and one thing I'm going to just take these out 17 millimeter uh, I got 14 millimeter here okay let's cap a pin pulling back that rubber Okay, there's a light amount of grease on there, uh, special type of grease. I'm just going to put a little more. This will rust up inside this, so this will help uh, uh, keep this pad from rust, uh, this pin, caliper pin from uh, rusting up, rusting up and sticking. It won't float. It needs to float. And uh, that's what that grease is for. Just a light coat. That's all. And it also seals this rubber right here. This rubber boot will seal. Help it seal anyways. For a little while. Push it down on and then there. going to snug it up and then I'm going to put 17 foot pounds on it. So I'll just snug it up with this wrench. Okay, that's all. And I'm going to torque it 17 foot pounds with the torque. I do the same with the other side. So 17, 17, uh, 17, the two mountain bolts, 28 foot pounds. That's basically it. So hope that helps.